Hi guys. So I heard from a few of you that the IXLs were kind of tough this week. So I decided to make a quick little YouTube video to kind of go over some questions together with you. So I just pulled up my IXL and um, let's just kind of read through this example one together. So it says below is a food web from a tundra ecosystem in Nunavut in a territory in northern Canada. Oh my goodness, I probably didn't say that correctly, but oh well. So we have a food web here, and then underneath the food web, the question reads, which two of the following organisms are secondary consumers in this food web? Okay, so let's first just kind of look at the food web. Um, at the bottom of the food web, um, I see something called bear sedge and the bear sedge only has an arrow that's pointing out and there's not an arrow pointing to it so the bear sedge is a producer most plants are producers they make their own food also over here to the right of that we have the lichen same thing it is a producer the arrows only go out and there's no arrow pointing to it the arrows represent the flow of energy. So the energy of these producers down here is consumed or travels through all of the other organisms. Okay, so let's kind of look a little bit further. Um, so from this bare sedge, I'm gonna follow this arrow to the left out of it, and it comes to a brown lemming. So the brown lemming feeds upon the bare sedge. It's its food. So the brown lemming is a consumer and it's called the first level consumer. From there, I see an arrow pointing out from it. If I follow it directly up, if you see my cursor kind of moving around, I have a short tailed weasel. The short tailed weasel eats the brown lemming and the brown lemming eats the bare sedge. So this makes the short tailed weasel a secondary consumer because it eats the brown lemming, which is the first level consumer. Sounds confusing, but hopefully you're following me. So I'm gonna go ahead and see if the short-tailed weasel is a choice, and golly, it's not. So let's keep a look in here. Okay, um, let's keep with the bare sedge. So we have our producer, the brown lemming, once again, is a first level consumer. I'm gonna follow now this arrow to the furthest left up, we have a parasitic jagger. So this is a second level consumer because if you follow the arrow back, it eats the brown lemming, which is first level, which then if you follow the arrow back, which eats the bare sedge. So parasitic jagger will be one of the answers. But we need another one. I think I'm gonna kind of approach it, the second one a little differently. I'm gonna just kind of look at the choices and see which one's right. So let's look at snowy owl and see if that one's it. So I'm going to find the snowy owl. I'm going to follow the arrows out. Um, there's only one arrow out from snowy owl. It's this direction. It goes down to, um, oh, excuse me, I'm going the wrong way. It goes this way is what I need to follow. My bad. Wrong way. So short-tailed weasel uh, to brown lemming. Gosh, that, that looks really long here. So I don't think that's going to be it. Um, I don't think it's the brown sedge because we've already identified that as a producer. I'm thinking it might be the grizzly bear. So let me look over here at the grizzly bear. Um, yeah, it's going to be the grizzly bear. Okay, and I can see it right here. Here's our lichen. It's a producer. I follow this arrow right here. I see the barren ground caribou. It feeds directly on the lichen. So that's a first level consumer. And then I can follow this arrow right here. And there's the grizzly bear, a second level consumer. So I do believe these are the two correct answers. Yay, I got one. Um, let's see, this one just wants to know which of the two producers and I know to look at the bottom. This one's probably pretty simple. That one's gonna be the bilberry because I only see arrows pointing outward and then that bare sedge because we only see arrows pointing outward. So that one's probably an easy one. 
Let me click ahead a little bit more. Primary consumers, those are, those are easier too. I think I started with the hardest question first. Um, that would be, it looks like an Arctic fox will be one of them because I can see right here, if I use this arrow here, it feeds directly on the bilberry if I choose that arrow. The energy goes from the bilberry directly into the Arctic fox, so that should be one. Um, let's see where the other one is. I have to look at it pretty closely, too, because there's so many arrows here. I think it's going to be that caribou. Where did that caribou go? Oh, here it is. Okay, yeah. And here is this caribou right here. If you follow this arrow, it feeds directly on the lichen. Here's my producer, first level consumer. Yeah, I think it's the caribou. Okay, Let's see if there's any kind of other questions. Decomposers are the organisms that are kind of like the recyclers that break down the nutrients. Um, those are commonly are things like mushrooms and earthworms. Um, and I can just see that right here with the arrow, it's pointing back towards the mushroom and then I don't know where the earthworm is everything's kind of pointing back towards the earthworm okay so I see that they don't have smart scores it's stages so um, your job is to try to get through all the stages or at least make a good attempt um, as a teacher when I log in I can see how many minutes you've spent working if you've only worked two minutes then I know you've not really tried. Um, there's no need to work hours on these. If you're working hours, that's too much, okay? You just be done with it. Um, but I do wanna see that you're making a good attempt and challenge yourself to try to get through all of the stages. Um, I'm not gonna go through the next questions here, but I know there is a few questions about tertiary consumers. Tertiary is like the third level consumer. So we have producer, that energy goes to a first level consumer, then to a second level consumer, then to a tertiary consumer, okay? So that is a little bit of help with W.2, interpreting the food webs. I hope that was helpful.